All right. Happy Friday, everyone. And today, I am going to fish this river and some cascades from the shore. And I have one rod with me. I have a G Loomis NRX medium heavy with a Shimano Metanium in the 6.2 to 1 with a KVD 1.5 square bill crankbait. I'm just gonna kinda fish down this way, maybe a little bit, go down there, fish the dam, fish the cascades, and hopefully I'm gonna catch them. And before I forget, I will mention that I have 14 pound, 14 pound test fluorocarbon on here. And the square bill crankbait is the chartreuse sexy shad. I'm thinking the crankbait bite should really work. I mean, I almost regret not bringing a jig, but I should be all right. And normally when I river fish, if you, if you guys follow my channel, you know that I, that I bring a spinning rod when I river fish. Well, today it's casting, just to change things up. All right, first cascade. Got to start catching some fish, right? All right, we're going to the next cascade. I'm gonna change up my presentation here a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the 1.5 square bill crankbait. I'm gonna tie on a Rapala DT4. And I believe this is the natural bluegill color. Gotta see what it looks like in the water, right? There it is. Now, if you're wondering why I switched, it's not because of the bluegill color, it's because of the more natural look that this had over the chartreuse. Oh, right there. No, 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 no. No. Wow, I thought he was gonna come off. I thought I was gonna lose that small mouth. Whew. All right, first fish of the day. And you know, that's the cool thing is this is not a big small mouth at all but it's actually good sized for here, if you get what I'm saying. That was way too cool. He chased that crankbait right up. Yes. Give me a few more of those and maybe that can talk me into taking a day off of work. <laughs> Thought I had one. Oh, yes. Where'd it go? Man, he's fighting. On the DT4. awesome you know that's the cool part about this is they're not big fish at all but they're fat for what they are look at that pretty fish let's go catch some more You know what we're gonna do now, don't you? We're gonna go to the next cascade because, like always, running low on time. Hooked up right there. Letting it go through the cascades and I got him. 
Boom. Another smallmouth. Yes. Good stuff. And I've noticed that this smallmouth, you're gonna go free, that this smallmouth is not as dark as the other ones. There we go. <laughs> See, he wants to go. First few casts. First few casts in there. I, I couldn't really get anything, but I knew that I had, I had to keep going. So basically all I did is I, basically all I did is I went into the cascade and I let it go through that current and it felt weird and he, he hit it. All right, third fish of the day. And it's one of my favorite fish to catch. <laughs> it's funny because I've caught two, three, four, four and a half pound smallmouth you know, at other lakes, rivers, and uh, in the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. But I don't ever think I've caught one here where I'm at over a pound. So hopefully, <laughs> so hopefully we can break that today. Last cast here. And then it'll be on to a different one. On to a different cascade. Right there. On the pause. Boom, boom. I know, you're gonna go free, hold on. Just be patient. And don't poke me with this crankbait, there we go. There we go. Again, like I said before, nothing real big, but if you look at the fish I've caught here in the past, I've caught a lot smaller. So this is actually a decent sized one for where I'm at. Again, look at, good looking fish. I love it. I love smallies, but let's get him back in the water. Had enough time to look at him, show him to you guys. Yes, look around. It's a beautiful area especially in the spring and the fall. It kind of sits down low from the road river, which feeds into these cascades and then it goes all the way around back out. Oh, right there and I'm about to fall. Boom. Oh, there we go. I wasn't even, Oop, I'm gonna fall. I wasn't even expecting that fish. I was trying to, I was trying to get my footing. I was trying to get my footing and he hit it. There we go. There we go, buddy. Nah, I was gonna put him into the cascades, but I won't. Whoa. Here. Oh yeah, that's why you gotta be careful with the light bait. Glad I thumbed it. Oh, did I get a fish? Did I just catch a backlash fish? Ho ho ho! I got a backlash fish. <laughs> I got a backlash smallmouth. Where is he? All I know is he jumped, I couldn't see him. Yes, a backlash fish. That's funny. That's so funny. And it's funny because you guys have asked me if I've ever caught a backlash fish, and I never have until now. My first backlash fish, whoop. How you doing? Good. Fishing video. <laughs> I noticed you were like, why is that guy talking to himself? <laughs> Right, right. Yeah. Okay. 
Hello. Oh, there goes that idea. But hey, it's all good. This is a public place. There's room for more than just people who fish. All right, you guys. That is gonna be it for me for the day. I had fun. I caught fish. Nothing real big. I mean, those were tiny smallmouth compared to what I've caught before. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked it. And we're supposed to get really bad storms for the next two days. So maybe I'll be able to get some fishing in over the weekend. Maybe I won't. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, 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 oh